Get daily updates directly to your inbox plus subscribe. Thank you for subscribing. Could not subscribe. Try again later in valid email. I was surprised to see it was Apostolos Velios who got Nottingham Forest's goal against Hull City on Saturday just because he's not been getting a chance. I was surprised he even got on the pitch. But Ider Karanka gave him his opportunity. Brought him off the bench with 10 minutes to go. And he scored. You can't ask for more than that. Velios had scored goals in preseason. But not been played since. Then he comes on and finds the back of the net. Hell have been delighted to prove a point. I'm sure. I'd start him against Preston tomorrow night now. Why not? Give Ben Brereton a break. Veliozzi is a big enough lad. He can take the knocks and bumps. And he'll be on a high after his goal. Brereton has done tremendously well up front. But I do think he needs a rest. He's probably run more in games so far this season than most players ran all of last year. Image. Mark Fear. I hope the manager had a right go with them when they were back in the changing room at full time on Saturday. It was a poor performance. Especially in the first half. The best manager we've had in recent years when it came to giving players a raw looking was Billy Davies. Head get in their faces and get them going. I think you have to do that at times. If you let players do what they want, then they will do what they want. They need to know that if they don't do it the manager's way, then they'll be out the door. If I was Karanka, I'd give players two games, max, to show they can do what he wants. If they don't, I'd be letting them go. The only good thing about the result on Saturday is that it didn't cost us any points. It means we're out of the FA Cup. But at least it didn't affect the championship table. We raised our game against Arsenal and Wolves. But we should NT then take our foot off the pedal against the likes of Hull. Hull made changes to their team. They are struggling for results and yet they still beat us. Probably every team thinks they can beat us in this league and too many of them have. Image. Dan Westwell. We are not consistent enough. It's been a problem for a long, long time, years. In fact, I can't remember the last time we had a consistent team. That's how long it's been. We had a great result against Wolves. But then we just didn't compete on Saturday. Maybe it's down to the players' mentality thinking we beat Wolves. That's it now. Then they don't put in the same kind of performance. They've got to realize they need to battle. Other teams do it. Especially the teams down at the bottom. That's why you can never take anything for granted when you're playing a championship side. We get beat by teams lower down in the table because they can battle those teams go into games. Against us believing they can win. We get a good result. Then a bad result. Good result. Bad result. We can't put any kind of run together. It's down to the manager to try to find a solution. But good luck to Karanka trying to put it right. Especially with some of the players we've got because I don't think some of them are good enough. They're not doing it week in. Week out. Our defense is poor. But then we all know that. We've been saying it since last season. That clean sheet at Wolves was brilliant. But it didn't mean we'd suddenly become rock solid overnight. It's going to take longer than that to get it sorted. When I played. We could walk out the ground, whatever the result, with our heads held high because we'd given it everything. How many of our players can say that every single week? You've got to hope they are looking to prove a point against Preston at the city ground. That's got to be the starting point.